remember yesterday in math we talked about equal and unequal parts or equal and unequal um, shapes, okay? So a lot of the times I told you to think about cookies or to think about some kind of food. If you got one piece, how would you or your neighbor feel if they got the other piece? Would it be fair? Would it be even? So today we're going to be talking about um, equal parts, but we're going to be talking about halves. Two friends share this sandwich on the left. How can they cut the sandwich so each friend gets an equal share? Okay, we could cut it into a triangle like this. So if I was sharing with a friend and I got this part of the sandwich and my friend got this part of the sandwich, would we both be happy? Yes. Yeah. We would. You are exactly right. How many equal shares did this sandwich make when I cut it? Oh, two. It made two equal shares. You are exactly right. One, two. Two equal shares. Now, look at the whole sandwich. How can you describe its shares? Um, because if you have a sandwich and you cut it from one corner to another corner, and then you will see that it would be equal because you would be able to measure it to see how you're exactly right. I like that you use the word equal. They are equal parts. Let's pretend whoops, that I cut it like this. That is not equal. Did I cut it in half? No. No, I did not cut it in half. This is cutting it in half, okay? It can be off the... So, let's say I have another sandwich, and I decided to cut it in half a different way. How else could I cut this sandwich? Um, down the middle. Down the middle like this. That's not very good, but it's at least close. Okay, could I do that? Yeah. Sure, I could. Okay, could I do this? Yes. Could I do this? Yes. As long as it is equal, equal and fair. And fair and in half. Okay, yes sir. Okay, so when we cut a shape into equal shares, um, then you need to make sure that the two parts equals one whole shape. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So here I have a whole circle. And I want to cut my circle into two equal shares. So how can I cut my circle? How can I cut my circle? Down the middle. Very good. I need to cut it, and it is called two halves. So if I have two parts, it is called two, two halves. halves because I cut it in halves. halves. Okay, I cut it in halves. halves. So it is called half of the circle. So you get one half and, they get and I get the, the other way. half. Okay, so that is what half means. Yes, sir. Like if you put this together. Yeah, you could put cut a desk in half. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, yep, you're right. She is talking. We could cut it in half this way, but we could also cut it in half that way. It doesn't matter as long as it's in half and it's equal. Okay, does everyone see that? But for today's lesson, um, it cut it this way on that one. Okay, look first grade. I have the same shape, and I want you to draw a line to show. Halves. Look at this word, halves. Okay, but I want them all to be equal. Okay. We just got done looking at how they can be different, but you are right, sir. They have to be equal. And you need to ask yourself, if I got this part and my neighbor got that part, would we both be happy? Yeah. And if not, then you did not cut it in half. They're going to look somewhat similar, but not exactly the same. Because if you didn't do anything on that one of those.